As much as creatives might like it to be, we don't actually get to just create all the time. We also have to make money. Making money means that we have to sell our creations. Making money means that we have to recruit clients. Making money means that we have an endless amount of tasks that we have to keep straight, get done on time, and at least pretend during this whole process that we know what we're doing. The good thing about the modern creative economy is that we do actually have a lot of tools to help us do this. There are, of course, the old standbys of paper planners and things like that. You know that I am a paper planner aficionado, but if you follow me on my other social media, you know that at least insofar as the services I provide, y'all, my paper planner just didn't cut it. It makes me sad to admit, but it just didn't cut it. What does keep me on track and make sure that I am able to get paid and deliver outstanding service while I'm at it is a tool called ClickUp. And I've had people ask me about it because it's not really one of the better known ones. Almost everybody's heard of Trello. Almost everybody has heard of Monday. And then of course, Slack integrations. That's a really huge one. But if you're working on your own, if you are a solopreneur creator, frankly, a lot of those other tools they offer more than you need. So ClickUp is my lifesaver. ClickUp is what keeps me on track in every sphere of my creative business. And so today's video is going to be me telling you what ClickUp is, and then also explaining to you how I use it, what I like and what I don't. And the good thing about all of this is that every single feature you will see me using is a part of the free plan. So let's get started. ClickUp was originally envisioned to be a one app to replace them all kind of deal. Of course, there are other apps, many of them, but not all of them have the same features. Some of them are good for teams. Some of them are better for solopreneurs. Some of them are better for note taking. Some of them are better for project management. As you can see on their sales page, they offer several views, which can work if you have a team or if you're a solopreneur like me, it works with just you and for free at that. If you feel like you want to pay for it, they do offer a whole litany of functions that I, for one, don't use, but they are available for you. And if you are a person with a team, you can have things like integrations for different types of software for programs you may already be using. For content creators, this could be especially valuable because you can assign tasks to individual team members. For a single piece of content like a video, you can pass it from your scriptwriter to your editor to your virtual assistant, and everybody knows exactly who is working on what, when it's due, and will be able to leave notes for the next person on the team who's going to deal with it. Depending on what type of creative professional you are, and if you are or are not working with a team, might change the way that you use ClickUp. If you're new to the channel and you don't know, I have a business with several prongs. First and foremost, I am a service provider. I provide editing services, I provide ghostwriting services, and though it's winding down technically for the moment, I'm still providing coaching services. All those have different due dates, all those have different deliverables, and all those have different client names that I'm dealing with. In addition to those services, which makes up the bulk of my business, I am also an author. As an author, I work on books, specifically paranormal suspense books. And I usually have two or three of those going at any given time. No, I'm not a rapid release author, which makes it all the more important that I have a system and kind of a docket of books that I'm working on because they're going to be sitting there for a while. <laughs> Let's be honest. Oh, save me. Finally, I am a content creator. In addition to being here on YouTube, I am also trying to bulk up my Twitter presence. I know it's been in the news a lot and you might have your reservations, but in all sincerity, um, it's kind of fun over there. It's kind of a party. I highly recommend it. <laughs> if you are on Twitter, please follow me at Chrissy Lee 490. I am also now on TikTok, which uses an entirely different video format to my YouTube. Yes, I understand that YouTube shorts are a thing, but if I'm going to be completely vulnerable with you, TikTok has face filters and YouTube shorts don't. I don't want to do my makeup every day, so TikTok wins. It's vapid, it's shallow, I accept your judgment, but that's what it is. So with those three main platforms of creating content for, and they're all different, unfortunately, I can't usually repeat content, I have to keep track of what I'm going to post on each of those platforms. But when I do have a banger of an idea, or I need to repurpose something like a blog into a Twitter thread, 
I need a place to schedule that. I need a place to plan it. ClickUp provides an answer for all three of those business strata. Is that the right word? I should know this. I'm an editor, but I don't. Business areas. That's what we'll say. For all three of those business areas, ClickUp allows me to track, schedule, and plan them. Let me show you what my workspace actually looks like, and then we can talk about what I like and a little bit about what I don't like about the platform so you can decide if maybe it's right for you too. The main page of ClickUp isn't something I actually use. This is very helpful if you have daily to-dos or basically calendar or agenda items that are very important to keep track of on a daily basis. My jobs tend to be longer term. They stretch on for weeks or months. So as you can see, this isn't something I use, but it's a great resource for those of you who would need it, especially if you enjoy creating original dashboards. My magic starts in the spaces. You're able to create as many spaces as you want. And within each space, you are able to create subheadings for that space. For my clients, I really don't need any subheadings. In this particular space, the list view works best, but I do have other options, which I'll show you when I get to the rest of the space. You're able to make use of tags, which of course are customizable. You are able to make use of due dates, which of course are also customizable. If you have multiple team members, I don't, it's just me, but you would be able to assign someone over here so everybody knows who's working on what. And if you have something that's a priority where multiple things are due on the same day, you can flag them over here. These columns are also customizable. And keep in mind, this is the free plan. So nothing what I'm showing you will cost you money. For my writing space, I went with the board view. The board view works better for me because again, I do not pump out works of fiction very quickly. These might be sitting here for a while. As far as the statuses go, I was able to customize these, again, for free. They do have templates for you, however, so you can choose from a creative workflow, you can choose from a project management workflow, and just use those templates if you like, or if you want to customize them like I did, that works too. I also have my content board, which again, for me, works best with the list. Like the other two, I did make some sub lists. Specifically, I have YouTube for my two different channels, one of which I habitually ignore even more than this one. Uh, but I do actually have two channels and I, I need to get better. I'm so busy, you guys. You can see the ideas line, which have no due dates on them, <laughs> goes a lot farther than the one where I'm actually working on it. I also have my Substack newsletter where it's only once a month, but I need to make sure that I have a pipeline of ideas so I don't end up running dry for a month. And then finally, which is nearly empty at the time because I do these on a weekly basis, is my social media. So my Twitter, my TikTok, and my YouTube. The majority of my time on the everything tab because I'm fine with just scrolling. That makes it easier for me. I just have everything on one page. For you, that might be overwhelming depending on your workflow. In the list and you've seen the board, another view that you have is also the calendar. Now, typically I do not use the calendar. As you can see, most days I don't have anything due. And on the days that I do, I mean, fine, but it's not really helpful because what I'm working on on any given day may or may not have anything to do with what's due. So the calendar isn't spectacularly helpful for me, but depending on what your workload might be, it could probably be very helpful for you. Now, there are more views. However, they are associated with the paid plans. So if you can get the whiteboard, if you need a map, if you, this is especially true if you have a brick and mortar location, or if you're somebody who is mobile, that might be helpful for you if you do house calls, et cetera. If you want to do a workload for your team, you want to make sure that you're not overloading your rock star while letting your not rock stars coast, that could be a good view for you. They also have the table and the box. I'm kind of annoyed I don't have the box. It looks cool, but you know, I'm, I don't need to pay for it. So, and then of course you have the ever present Gantt and timeline charts for your long-term projects. These would be very helpful views, but for me anyway, they're not helpful enough where I would be interested in paying for them. ClickUp also has a mobile app. And if I'm being honest, I don't super love it. Um, there's a lot of side scrolling, which I don't care for. I wish something could be done about that. However, when looking at it in the board view, it's actually pretty tolerable. I don't use it a super lot. However, when I'm out and about and an idea comes to me, or if somebody calls me and I have to change a due date, it's good to have it on my phone, at least if I need it. 
Now, of course, there are a lot of project management programs out there. Uh, from what I've been seeing, the YouTube algorithm is really pushing Notion. Notion is the business, apparently. Um, I gave it a try. If I'm being honest, it was a little complicated for me. I have no interest in spending all that time getting something set up, which is a weird thing for a grown woman who spends hours doing stickers on a planner to say. But here we are. So if Notion is a little bit too much for you, if Trello is a little bit too simplistic, for me, ClickUp was a nice little midway point and it's been working really well in the months since I've been using it. I don't have any desire to continue looking. For me, this is kind of where I've landed. I'm very happy with it. And if you run a creative business, particularly if you are a solopreneur who was looking for a free program that meets all of your needs, honestly, I can't think of a better one. And if there's another project management software that you use and prefer over ClickUp, if you switched over, I would love to hear about it and exactly why you like it more. And speaking of staying organized, I have heard your pleas. And yes, I do have a 2023 version of the Nonsense Free Planner. It is now available for sale. It is almost identical to what came out last year. I have updated the images. And of course, I have updated all of the backlinks, making sure that the dates for 2023 are thoroughly hyperlinked. If you want to walk through of that planner, I will link that video in the end screen. And you can see if that's something that would meet your digital planning needs. And if not, there's always ClickUp or good old paper planners. Whatever keeps you organized, I'm here for it. So that's all I have for this week. Until next time, take care and write well.